This is MikeBot. Today, I'm going to be doing a video on this really cool new studio I have found. This is called 3D AI Studio. This is an incredible software with a ton of potential. And um, it's still very early. I think they've only come, uh, they only came out with this in March of 2024. But uh, basically, this allows you to turn uh, text, images, and various other things into 3D models. So this could be a game changer in the 3D printing world because you don't need to know how to design. Now, you should know how to design to some degree because you might have to touch up the files. But for the most part, this AI-based studio does everything. It's incredible. I've spoken to the designer or the owner of this company, and they've hooked me up with about a thousand credits to uh, kind of play around with and test. So I've decided to do a video on this. So some of the capabilities are text to 3D, image to 3D, AI texturing, and remeshing. Uh, I will show you how all this works in just a second. But uh, do note that if you don't know how to design uh, for 3D printing, this could be a game changer for you. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the studio here. Now, as you see, I've used some of my credits already, and I'll show you what I've done. So some of the tests I did, the first thing I did was I tried the text to 3D. So I typed in three tier table for craft show display, size, blah, blah, blah. And this is what it came out with. Uh, it was a terrible, terrible first attempt. Uh, obviously, my description wasn't great, but all things considered, not bad. So next, I decided I wanted to try Bulbasaur. So I threw in an image of Bulbasaur and I said, turn this into a 3D model. Now, this came out incredible. Now, I haven't tried 3D printing this, but I do know if I do try to 3D print it, it will lose all the texture, uh, like uh, the spots and the eyes and all that. Um, but all things considered, it came out pretty good. And then I decided to remesh it. So you're, you can remesh unlimited for free. Uh, when I remeshed it, I think I chose 15,000 faces and all that. Let me download the model just to show you uh, what it looks like in Bamboo Studio. So it spits it out as an OBJ. So I'm just going to open up the OBJ here. In 3D Viewer. It'll just take a minute to load. So here's what it looks like fully loaded so you can kind of make out the eyes to some degree it looks very soft so this is where I said you might need to know how to do just basic 3d editing uh, you might be able to just throw this into Tinkercad or Fusion 360 even and just add the textures yourself or use the credits to add the textures yourself as well all right so let me close that off and I will talk about the credits shortly so then I decided to do a snow globe with Hotel Transylvania inside it it was one of my kids ideas it didn't come out too great. So um, I did waste some credits on it. It was actually terrible. Uh, so then I tried redoing the words because I did the text to 3D. And this is the other version it came out with. A little bit better, still not what I was expecting. But it removed the words I told it to remove here. And technically, it is some sort of hotel. And then uh, afterwards, I'm like, all right, let's try something a little more advanced. So I remeshed the globe. So I'm like, let's try a Pokeball. So again, I used the text function. And Pokeball came out looking pretty decent. And then I threw in an image of Venusaur. And this one, it struggled with a little bit. And it looks like Venusaur uh, is possessed. But uh, overall, not too bad, to be honest. Just uh, it, unfortunately, it looks like bad. But... Not a bad attempt. And then last thing I tried was an urn. Uh, a customer of mine had a request, so I decided to try an urn there. And it came out looking decent. And then I went with Retro Nintendo Controller as a fidget clicker. Uh, this is free on... Uh, I threw this free on Creality. And I'll throw the rest of these up free on my Patreon and on my Creality Cloud account as well. And then uh, last, I tried this little duck thing. Anyway, so let's see. It. Those are the tests I did. And... Um, as you can see, not bad. So I'm going to do some tests live here and um, I'll show you what it all looks like. So I'm going to click recharge here for a sec to show you what the credits do. So the basic plan is 14 bucks US, which is uh, basically $1.40 per 100 credits. But here's the breakdown. So text to 3D is 25 credits, image to 3D, and the rest are basically 30 credits. Adding textures to your AI 
is one credit and i might try that out actually now uh and you can see you can remesh and do the lod's for free unlimited as long as you have one credit so price wise it's fairly decent and what you're paying here is for his servers in the back end they take up a lot of electricity they're expensive to maintain and that's why it costs what it costs so when you think about what this is costing him this is a pretty good deal especially if you're a video game designer or a movie editor so first i'm going to go ahead and do an image to 3d so i'm going to try to do something here that's not going to get me uh, kicked off uh, YouTube. So let me think. Let's do the YouTube logo. Turn it into 3D. I'm just going to download an image here. Save image. Has, save it to desktop. Okay. So I've saved the image. Now I'm just going to browse for it. It's just loading up the image here. Hopefully my microphone is recording. All right, so there's the image, and I'm going to use some credits just to show you all how it works. And here it comes. Ooh, it did a terrible job. That's the first time I've seen it not do a very nice job, and that could be my fault with the image. So uh, first, before I refine it, let me try to remesh it with 20,000 faces. While it does that, I'm going to go look for another image. Okay, so there's no way to sugarcoat it. Uh, it came out looking terrible. So let's try another image. Okay, so this one's transparent. Take up another 30 credits here, see if uh, this one looks nicer. By the way, I'm using a new microphone. Um, if the audio doesn't come out too great on it, this microphone's going right back to Amazon. I will have an unboxing and review video on this microphone that I'm using here, which is the newer CM28. Okay, that's a little bit better. Not great, but better. So we got the YouTube play button. I'm going to go ahead and remesh it to give it 20,000 faces and merge the vertices. And then we're going to do some text to 3D. I will also, I'm going to throw on a couple links for you guys to get a discount on this and be able to access it yourselves. So uh, look out for that. So I'm just going to download it here. Uh, open it up as a GLB. It looks a little rough, so I'll have to do some modifications on this. But I, I do like it. I just uh, I need to refine it. Uh, sorry, remesh it as an SDL. No, as an OBJ. Drop it down to 15,000 faces. And then just wait for it to load. And then I'll show you how I'm going to remesh this easily. So while that does its thing, let's do text to 3D. So here, I want to make myself uh, a new figure that represents my channel. So let's do robot android style. No, not android style. Robot human like robot mascot. Human like robot mascot. Uh, what else? Um, highly detailed 3D printing friendly uh, tech techie robot and let's see what that does we'll generate that and while it does that I'm going to open up this AI thing here and generate an image Okay, I'm going to generate an image of an AI robot. Look at this, actually. This is not bad. Wow, I like it. Uh, let's refine him. No, nope, let's remesh him. I'm going to give him 20,000 faces again. OBJ him. That robot has been downloaded right here. And let me just see what... Microsoft came up with here. Oh, very nice. Very nice. This is another one I'm going to convert into a 3D image. Let's go with this guy. Download. Let me add some metallic features. Yeah, see, it doesn't look great. So this is why I want to try the texture thing. 
Let me just grab a good image here. Now keep in mind if you're like a video game designer or something, these images are pretty freaking good. But as a 3D printer, they're not up to par. Okay, so I'm going to grab this image here. And then we're going to turn those images. I'm going to turn those images into a 3D model. So one thing I'm going to start with here is Texture AI. Uh, let's go to the alpha version, import JLB, export. Interesting. Okay, I'll come back to this in a second here. Let's go to tools, image to 3D beta. Here we go. This is the one he was recommending I play with because this one is good for 3D printing. Let's start with this guy. So I need to make the dimension smaller. Let me see if the other photo, let me see if the other photo was smaller. No, I clicked the wrong photo. Yeah, so I'm gonna resize this image. Okay, so I've resized that image. Now let's generate the 3D model. So I'm at 680 credits. Let's see if this takes up any credits. So I think the owner of this app is called Jan. He, uh, he hooked me up with a thousand credits. Very, very nice guy. And he recommended I try this uh, image to 3D. So while it does its thing there, I'm going to go back here and uh, do another image. I'm going to actually bookmark this. Ooh, not bad. It's not great, but not bad. Let's download it. And I don't think it took any credits. Yeah, it didn't because it's still a uh, uh, beta. So you can see all the different uh, apps he's got here, which is pretty cool. He's got a few that are coming soon. Tutorials, Upscaler, Text to Sound. Uh, let's do another image to 3D beta. We'll give that another 30 seconds. And while it does that, I'm going to open up the other one. Oh, no, it did take credits. I'm down to 650. Well, that's unfortunate. Remember, he's using processing power. Electricity is expensive and all that. So uh, I'm not upset that it used credits. So once that one is done, I'm going to do texture AI. Now, this is just a really fast video I'm doing. Uh, I will be doing a more in-depth video. I just wanted everyone to see how cool this app is. Once I fine tune everything, I'm going to make a really nice detailed video for everybody. So stay tuned for that. I don't have an app that can open up GLB, so I'll have to come back to that one. Okay, next, let's look at the uh, texture AI. So here, I'm going to grab one of those GLB files I, uh, I made there. So what we're going to do is go into paint mode. Oops, I did not want to do that. How do you undo? Okay, I'm going to try the texture AI thing here. This up. And then I'm going to say 3D model, high resolution, detail, masterpiece, best quality, high res. And then I'm going to add um, enhance features as well. Let's make it very creative. And generate. Oh, not bad. I like that. Export. Again, I don't have a way to load GLB. Oh, it loaded this time. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I might 3D print this. Yeah, I am going to 3D print that. Okay, so at a very high level, like I said, I just wanted to show everyone this at a high level. I still have credit, so I will be making a second video. Uh, and in that second video, I'll uh, go in depth into everything. So I just wanted to do this intro. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm going to insert all the links in the description. Uh, and uh, if uh, you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon. All these models will be free on my Patreon. So go there, download them, test them, play around, do what you want. Uh, thank you all for watching. Mike Bot out.
watching my pot entertain. Man.